Hello friends, today I am going to explain you the requirements for the Automotive Quality Management System Standard IATF 16949-2016 for the control of externally provided processes, products and services. I have split the module into five parts to make it easy for you to grasp the concept at your own learning pace. In the standard, clause 8.4 explains the requirement for the control of externally provided processes, products and services. Clause 8.4 is further subdivided into three subclauses. 8.4.1 explains the general requirement and supplier selection processes and customer directed sources handling. 8.4.2 explains the type and extent of control statutory and regulatory requirements, supply quality management system development, supply monitoring, second party audits, and supply development. And the last subclause 8.4.3 explains the information for the external providers. Clause 8.4.1 explains the general requirement and sets the base for the other requirements to follow. It states that the organization shall ensure that externally provided processes, products and services are conforming to the requirements. It is the responsibility of the organization to ensure that all the things are conforming to the requirements. There are three important requirements in this clause. First is the organization shall determine the controls to be applied to externally provided processes, products and services under three criteria. First criteria is products and services from the external providers are intended for incorporation into the organization own products and services. Second criteria is products and services are provided directly to the customers by external providers on behalf of the organization. Third criteria is a process or a part of process is provided by an external provider as a result of a decision by the organization. The second important requirement is the organization shall determine and apply criteria for the evaluation, selection, monitoring of performance and re-evaluation of external providers based on their ability to provide processes or products and services in accordance with the requirements. Also the organization shall retain the documented information of these activities and necessary actions arising from the evaluations. The third important requirement is the organization shall include all products and services that affect customer requirements like subassembly, sequencing, sorting, rework and calibration services in the scope of their definition of externally provided products and services. Clause 8.4.1.2 explains the requirement of supplier selection process. It states the organization shall have a documented supplier selection process and the supplier selection process shall include an assessment of the selected supplier's risk to product conformity and uninterrupted supply of the organization products to the customers. Second is relevant quality and delivery performance. Third is an evaluation of the supplier's quality management system. Fourth is multidisciplinary decision making and fifth is an assessment of software development capability if applicable. Apart from this in the supplier selection criteria ITF says that you should also consider below factors while assessing a supplier's volume of automotive business, financial stability, purchase products, materials or service complexity, required technology adequacy of available resources, design and development capability of the supplier, manufacturing capability of the supplier, change management process, business continuity planning, logistic process and customer service. The next clause is 8.4.1.3 which explains the requirement of customer directed sources which are also known as directed by. It states that the when specified by the customer, the organization shall purchase products, materials or services from customer directed sources. 
and all the requirements of section 8.4 except 8.4.1.2 which is supply selection process are applicable unless specific agreements are otherwise defined by the contract between the organization and the customer. Friends, with this we have come to the end of part 1 explaining the requirements of IITF 16949-2016 clause 8.4. Hope it helps you to gain knowledge on the standard. Do subscribe on my YouTube channel to get more updates on my upcoming videos. In case you have any question, you can always write back to me on my email ID provided here. Looking forward to hear from you. Keep learning.